When it comes to running a cafe, wastage not only harms the environment, but it can also impact your bottom line. Every single little bit of wasted coffee grind and all of that milk the Brewsters are so happily tipping me on the sink all adds up to an amount of wasted money that you would be shocked to know the true, true amount of. So today I want to share with you some practical strategies to help you minimize the wastage in your cafe which should save you money. I do just want to clarify, I'm not encouraging you to start cutting costs. Some of my suggestions will even cost you money. I just want you to stop wasting money so you can reinvest it into your business and ultimately put it back into your pocket. So let's start with the dry coffee grinds. Any coffee grinds left behind while making coffee is just a waste. It can be easily avoided. Some grinders are notoriously messy, so especially if the brewster isn't managing their dose and they're constantly overfilling the basket, Simply changing your technique or reducing the grind time to avoid overfilling will help you straight away. You may want to upgrade your grinder to one with a better shoot so all the coffee actually lands in the basket and not all over the bench. We always recommend using scales to measure the amount of coffee as well. That coffee that's going into the, into the basket or into a dosing pot is what will help prevent overdosing. This is even easier if you're using dosing pots instead of putting the coffee directly into the porta filter. This is a great way to make sure all the grounds actually land in the basket and it's easy to maintain the right dose at the same time. Next is the used coffee grounds. Did you know that they can be used as a fertilizer? Coffee grounds are rich in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, making them a great addition to your compost or your garden soil. So coffee grounds can even act as a natural deterrent for pests like ants, slugs and snails, as well as absor absorbing and neutralizing unpleasant odors in your home or in your cafe. You could even use your grounds as a cleaning scrub in your cafe. The, the abrasive texture of the coffee grounds makes them really useful for cleaning surfaces like stubborn grime or grease like dirty pots, pans, or surfaces. Did you know that coffee grinds can even be used as a natural exfoliant for your skin? So mix them with a small amount of coconut oil or another carrier oil to create a homemade scrub. So make use of them and stop wasting them. The trick is to easily save your coffee grounds and that's with a Noctu bag. So they keep the bins clean. They also, they're also really easy for staff to, to empty a Noctu. So customers, are often happy to take them as well. So make sure your customers know that they can easily collect them every day. You can buy these bags from us online and I'll just put a link in the description below. Not only will you be reducing the amount of coffee going into landfill, but you'll also be saving money on your waste bin collection costs by filling your bins even less every single day. Next, let's talk about milk. And this has got to be the most common area I see most of the wastage happening in cafes. So the most common reason baristas tip milk down the sink is because they have leftover milk after making a coffee. Yes, we encourage using fresh milk in a clean jug, but this can be done without tipping your money down the sink. Focus on getting your milk jug fuel levels right for the different coffees you're making. You should be starting with less milk for a cappuccino than you do for a flat white. You've, we've done a full video on this before, so check it out, put it, the link in the description below but a simple test to show your staff how much money they're wasting is to put a bucket under the counter where they have to tip all of the unused milk or leftover milk instead of into the sink or the jug rinser. At the end of the day, you'll be able to show them how much milk would have actually been tipped down the sink or wasted that day. And it's even better if you can determine how much money would have been wasted in doing that. Now, I just mentioned that you can start with less milk for a cappuccino than a flat white. This means that the cost of milk of a cappuccino is less than a flat white. The more froth in a coffee cup, the less milk you have to start with. Therefore, the lower the cost. Make sure your baristas are frothing correctly for the coffees they're making and saving on milk in the process. We've done lots of videos on milk, so check them out. Also, make sure you've got the right size milk jugs for the size of the cups. Use a small milk jug for a small cup to ensure that you've got no leftover milk. You can buy these online, click on the link below. Once you've got the right size jugs, ensure your baristas know how to make two cups worth of, two cups of coffee out of one jug. This is known as splitting your jugs, it will help reduce wastage and speed up your coffee making. And of course, 
we've got a video on this too. Now a major contributor to waste in cafes is packaging and disposable supplies. Without compromising on the customer's experience, you can ask if they need a bag or a tray for their takeaway order. If they don't, you'll save on money and you won't end up, it won't end up in landfill. And always encourage your customers to bring them back when they come back as well. If you're using single wall takeaway cups and you need to use two cups for your hot drinks, like a long black, I'd suggest finding a supplier of a recyclable hot cup sleeve instead. They're cheaper than two cups together and they can go into the standard recycling system. Now this seems simple enough, but just make sure that all of your staff are drinking from crockery and not takeaway cups. So I encourage customers to do the same when you can even implementing a mug return system or encouraging customers to bring in their reusable cups is a great idea. It's also a great way for you to sell merchandise like a keep cup with your logo or your coffee roasters name on the cup. Not only will you save money on the cup, but the customer is more likely to come back to you for their daily coffee. Buying your stock like sugar and straws in bulk will reduce your packaging bill and your waste. It's definitely time to ditch those single use sugar sticks. Now good systems in your cafe can help reduce your wastage and even increase productivity. Instead of printing dockets for takeaway cups, write directly on the cups. Check out our video on implementing this system into your cafe. I see ca plenty of cafes printing unnecessary dockets. Adjust the setting on your point of sale to print what's necessary and reduce your paper waste as well. And last but certainly not least, let's focus on saving your power bill. It's time to invest in energy saving equipment like the Lamazoko range that offers an eco mode to put into a reduced energy consumption mode when you're not using the machine. You can also now be looking at milk fridges and other appliances with better energy efficient ratings to reduce your power bill and save you money. It's better for the environment. By implementing these simple strategies, you can significantly reduce wastage in your cafe, which not only benef benefits the environment, but also helps you save money. If you have any questions or you can s share your ways you reduce your wastage and save money, I'd love to hear, for them, hear them, put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, there is plenty more like it. Hit the subscribe button below, then go and check out all the videos from our channel made just for baristas and cafe owners. The best way to support us so we can continue to make these videos is by going to artisti.com.au and buying our coffee. Not only will you be supporting our channel so we can continue to make these videos, but you'll be getting amazing specialty coffee delivered to your door. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.